doing a updated what's in my phone video. I honestly didn't feel like I needed to do an updated version just because everything with my phone is pretty much the same but I did get a couple of questions that I kind of want to just answer in this video and I wanted to do one more of these before I get the new Samsung Galaxy S4, uh, the S5 I mean, sorry. This is the S4. The S5 should be coming out within a few months and um, I'm already eligible for an upgrade so I know I'm going to be getting it as soon as I can. So clearly I've had the same kind of setup with all my phones since we were able to like download apps and whatnot. Still have my Bathing Cat app and I'm going to list the every app that I mentioned so if you want to check it out on your phone or you want to see if you can even get it you can um, just check out the description box. I'm going to have all the apps listed in there. So I'm trying to remember the questions off the top of my head. One of them were, do I use a launcher or something for my phone? I don't. The way the, this phone moves, it's just, you know, it's factory. It's how it moves. I don't download anything weird to make it look cool or anything. It's just how it is. I feel like launchers will make your phone lag. Um, I feel like if you go back and forth between apps like I do, um, then it might move a little slower. You might have to force close program. So I just never, I was never interested in having anything like that. The second question was how do I group my items like this? And it's actually really easy. Just press and hold any blank area on your background. And where it says add to home screen, you can see where it says folder. And it's pretty much a folder and you can name it um, whatever you want. And then you could add whatever apps you want to put in there. Oh, if you want me to just show you, you can name it whatever you want. And then you just click and drag whatever apps you want in there. And it just adds it in there for you. So, so I'm assuming you guys already seen my last video. If not, I'm going to link that down below. Um, but pretty much this is my setup. I like to leave the space in the middle open so I could see my background. And right now I don't have the uh, live back the wallpaper right now because that really drains your battery fast. And I've just been charging my phone way less without that background. So if I know I'm going to be home all day I might switch it up. But um, this is actually a picture from when I went to Florida too. I just edited it a little bit with um, I used my Pixart app a little. And I just played with the color and I really like it. And it reminds me of when I went to Miami in October. So that's my wallpaper. Um, oh, my case is also different. I ordered this case from Amazon. It's actually a like maze case and there's like little balls. And there's a couple of different mazes you could get. Um, I just really like this one because it was different. I've seen the red and blue one also. Those are real, That one's like my favorite. But I mean, this one's cute too. And then I just have this stud that is also from Amazon. You can get like a pack of 10 for like $2 I think it is. And it just sticks in your, um, your audio jack here and it doesn't damage it or anything. And there's all different kinds. I actually have a new case and a new, um, a new uh, crown thing that I'm going to switch at the end of this video. So uh, you guys will see that too. Yeah, if you guys have any other, like, galaxy questions, I'm, I'm pretty sure I know, like, a lot of things already. But, um, getting into my actual apps, everything here is the same. I have my, I have my gallery, and the way the galaxy organize them is it does sections. So everything you downloaded is here. Everything from Facebook is going to be here. From Kick, your screenshots, from all different apps, it'll organize it that way. That's kind of how I keep it. It's just easier for me. I also have my camera, regular regular internet is still there, um, I rarely use it so I might switch it out at some point, Facebook, Google Maps, Instagram, Kick, and I got a new flashlight thing with this one I could just press it and it'll turn the light on and it'll stay on and then I could just go around and do whatever I want and to turn it off you just hit it again. And this one's called LED flashlight. My like main little bar here is still my phone, Google Chrome, and messaging. And you can switch this out. Just click and drag it. And you could put whatever you want. I think you could put five there. But this is just how I'm used to it. Over here, the only, the only thing that's different, I deleted my rap app. And now it's just Shazam. And I rarely even use that. But when I want it, <laughs> I need to be able to get to it. Um, Of course, I had to download Flappy Bird. There's always like those trendy games 
that everybody has to uh, get. My high score is 15, I think. I'm not that great, and this isn't that entertaining to me. Just to like kill time. I don't know. Yeah, that's my high score. Going back. These are my games, Diner Dash, Diner Tycoon, uh, Family Feud, and Friends, Abduction, World T Attack, Hardest Game Ever 2, and Flappy Bird. Those are my games. And then the memo, uh, my calendar, my clock, and the calculator's right there because I'm terrible at math. Pandora widget right there. On the other side over here, my edits. What's different? I re-downloaded Lime Camera. I have like a love-hate relationship with this thing. Yeah, so the cool thing about this app is it just has cool filters like you know how Instagram has filters this one has interesting ones too alright so I'm gonna use this one and just play with the filters so you could see they're not like typical um, I don't know if you could read the small print at the bottom but you just click it and it applies the filter there's so many different ones and then you could still add the stamps on them afterwards uh, really I'm not even just I'm just showing you all the different filters and uh, this is called line camera yeah, and there's different stamps you could buy, like of course the cutest ones you have to purchase, but there's ones like these too, and they're just really cute. I don't know. Yeah. And then that's really the only thing that's different. I still use InstaFit, Pixar, and my ringtone maker. Oh, another question was what kind of K-pop artists do I like? Mainly I listen to 21. They're like all my ringtones. <laughs> This is my friend's ringtone. It's low. I don't really like it low. Yeah, these are my ringtones. Uh, I don't really make that many, so... As far as K-pop artists go, um, I just put on 21 Pandora Radio and I like what I listen to. I like Big Bang, uh, Taeyang, uh, Wonder Girls, Girls' Generation, um, Hyena. I'm not sure if that's how you say her name, but they're all awesome. Oh, another new app that I actually got in Florida. It was really dark in the room. I stayed with my friend and I don't know how people sleep with it like just pitch black and silent. But I actually downloaded this app. It's called Baby Nightlight. I think that's what it's called. And I pulled this sound off of YouTube. What is it? Heavy rain sound. I downloaded it and then you could set the duration of how long you want the light to be on. I just hit 45 minutes. And then you hit start. And then it'll play this for 45 minutes and then it'll close the app and close your phone so in a pitch black room this is like really pretty and like soothing and then the sound of the rain and that just put me like right out um and then a couple i'm trying total recall so i can record my calls i don't even make that many calls but i just wanted to play with it to see if it worked and then i also have voice recorder so i can record things like right off my phone so i could like record a conversation just have my phone out on the table so if we're having lunch, watch out. That's new. The PlayStation app too. If you have PlayStation, you can download the app on your phone and you, you can like message your friends and add them and check your trophies. I just think this is really convenient. Um, I have a PlayStation 3 still, but this works with the PlayStation 4 also. And if you're like in the middle of the game, instead of going back and forth between the PlayStation like screen and your game, you could just open up your phone and check your messages on here and stuff and check your trophies and it's just really convenient. Um yeah, so I think that's everything that I have left to show you. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below. Um, like I said, this will probably be the last what's in my phone video with this phone because I am going to be upgrading soon and I'm just going to switch my case real quick. Oh yeah, um, I get my screen protectors from Amazon also. You could get like a pack of five for like two dollars. I just changed mine. I, I can never do it perfect. Interesting fact, I got one of those like fish eye lens things and I just wanted it to like snap on like a magnet so I ended up gluing the metal ring to my phone and when it fell off, it like fell off like the next day and um, it like ripped the protector off my phone so now it's a little bit ghetto. 
whatever I'm getting a new phone soon anyway but yeah this is my new case it's like a fabric I didn't know it'd be like a fabric I thought it'd be hard plastic but I like it. see I like my cases really fat and big this one's just so small I don't know am I the only one who likes big phones like <laughs> I always get a fat case and it just feels better in my hand and stuff I feel like this is so flimsy if I drop it that it'll just snap right off um, and this is the crown so maybe I'll use my old case with the crown yeah and the crown is also from Amazon and the case too I think they were two bucks each this crown is just really awesome it's like huge it's like perfect okay so there's one app that I just totally forgot to mention um, let me open up a word thing so I could show you guys how to use this. And this is, um, I've been using this like crazy since I found it. Um, it's for like emojis to work on your Android. And they already work. It's just we gotta input them differently. And I don't know if there's a different way to do this, but I've played around with a bunch of apps and this is just my favorite one to use it with. It's called Cool Symbols. And you just drop it down from the bar like that, and then it pops up this screen of emoji. These are the ones that I, like, used recently. Um, then you can add your favorites. So, yeah, you could you pretty much use all these emojis. Here we go. We got a gun. Uh, you just click it, and then you can paste it right there. And then you have your emoji right there. That was the last thing I wanted to mention. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and thank you so much for watching. Bye. <laughs>